What's up, everyone? Clody and Hoxha here, aka Ian the European with the Houston Real Estate Advisor Group here at eXp. And uh, today I wanted to make a really quick video about the um, some of the tools that eXp is offering. But more specifically, I want to talk about the website, the CRM, and the IDX. Okay, so for those of you guys that are new to the real estate world, um, you, as, as you would imagine, once you become a realtor, you would want a website, right? And you want a place where your clients can come and go through your website and search for properties. Well, those properties, they have to have what's called an IDX, which is a system that allows um, all the properties from the MLS to be uh, exported from the MLS into your website, okay? Uh, plus, you also uh, will need to have a CRM, which stands for a customer relation management system. And uh, you, you'd want these people that are coming to your website to be nurtured because not everybody's gonna be uh, ready to buy right then and there, right? So all the people that you talk to, you need a system to track everybody and uh, so you can follow uh, them along. So uh, EXP works directly with the uh, industry's leader in this, which is uh, KV Core used to be called conversion, now it's called KP Core. It's a whole lot more robust. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scram, uh, share my screen with you guys. Um, so this is my new website. Uh, actually, I'm not sharing my screen yet. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm sharing my screen right now. So, um, just wanted to mention one thing. Uh, so in my previous career, I uh, was a web developer and I used to be really good at web development and things like that. That's actually what I went to school for. So my site prior to eXp was a very robust site. I had a site with all the bells and all the whistles. The problem was that it was really hard to integrate all these things uh, because um, I was using uh, some of the third-party applications and, and so on and so forth. So even though I had a pretty robust site, it was very, it was lagging. The, the, the end user experience was not there. So I opted out for the eXp standard site. Here it is, it's right over here. Uh, that's the name of my website. And I think they've done a really good job. I mean, it really, it has everything that uh, it needs. Uh, I mean, when, when you're a client, and you're shopping for homes online, you would expect to have something that's very simple. Uh, so I have my testimonials on here. We got all our listings down here, and I have the most recent listings. Um, and I have a little bit about me, and I have my latest blogs on here as well. Okay, so, um, so let, if we, go to a recent listing let's just go right up here so uh somebody lands on your site and let's just say they landed right over here and they're searching around and looking all the photos it's going to ask them to log in okay so they can either create a login or they can log in with facebook and google so what that means is that the quality of people that you're going to have coming in are going to be a lot uh, a lot better okay so again, we got a description over here. So if they choose not to log in, what it's gonna do is, of course, this is my information chain. And they can share this as well with uh, people. Uh, they can ask you questions and they can save it. Uh, but let's just say that they choose not to log in. It will automatically bring them to this page. So if they want to get information about the property, they're going to have to log in. They're going to have to create a login. Okay. Uh, and uh, like I said, so we got, these are the menus that I have over here. Search for homes, get a home evaluation, uh, my agent profile, our listings, testimonial, and blog. So your clients could also go over here and, and get an immediate home estimate so they can put their information and they get an immediate home estimate. Uh, here you got my agent profile. So I'm a broker associate, this is me. Uh, this is my information, my phone number and everything. Uh, so yeah, they can, they can reach out to me if they so choose, okay? And uh, I also have a page that I created for pre-qualification. You can put, yeah, we can create a page here. 
uh, if they want to get information about credit repair. And these are some of the people that I work with, uh, get a pre approval for a mortgage and things like that, and they can come back to search for homes. So now the question is, what happens when they log in, right? So they like a property, so they log in, or let's just say they get a home evaluation. What happens is it brings them right over here, okay? And once they log in and they create a login, what happens is they will be listed right over here. So these are your clients. They're gonna be listed right over here. So now I, you can also add a contact. So we can actually add somebody. So let's just add Joe. So we got Joe Nobody. Just a made up person at blah, blah, at Gmail. All right, and um, 281-777-7777, just a made up email, just a made up name. Make sure, of course, you're gonna have the permission. So as you meet people out there, you can add them yourself or they will be automatically added if they register on your site. And of course, this permission text and email will automatically prompt it. If you're adding somebody, you have to have their permission, of course. And uh, it's a manual ad for me, I'm the owner of this. Uh, you can assign them to certain campaigns. So KV Core will allow you to have certain campaigns. I don't have anything running at the moment, but you can do that. Uh, you can add your lender, your preferred lender, and you can CC your lender. Uh, you know, your, your lender can be CC'd. You can also put notes here. Like for example, if you're on the and you meet somebody and they tell you, oh, I'm not ready now, but I will be buying, let's just say in July, you can put on here, will buy in July, so you can do that, uh, and um, you add them, okay? So now you just added your contact, you added Joe Nobody, and here it is. Um, I don't know if this is a real person, but you know, these things will actually, uh, so it says it's an excellent lead, this blah, blah, at Gmail. Uh, it, will, it will pick up the email, and this, this would be the person's activities, Exactly, Twitter account. It says it's an excellent quality lead. So that means that this person has activity out there. Okay. Um, so, and then what you do is let's say you want to set alerts. Okay. Let's just say that this person is going to be wanting to buy a single family in my area. I primarily work in Katy. So I can put Katy here as the city, city of Katy. I can put that on there. And um, I can put certain keywords on here if I so choose. Uh, I, can, I can choose options like, for example, a fixer upper. If, if Joe Nobody wants a fixer upper, and I can add keywords, let's just say, for example, pool, pool area or private pool. Okay. So I can put that on here and I can put, let's just say three bedrooms, two baths. Um, let's say they want a maximum of 300,000. No more than 300,000. I can put the square footage the year here. And I can choose to send it to me the weekly or I can choose to do it immediately. So you can do it instantly on here daily, twice a week, weekly, monthly. Let's just do it instantly, okay? Let's say this guy really wants to buy. And sometimes I use this particular field either for myself, if I want to send myself the information that I'm sending to Joe, or for example, Joe's wife. So Joe's wife at Gmail, okay? Or significant other, whichever, or their mom or their daughter or whatever, whoever is helping them find their house, okay? And I also put the open house, deal on here okay and you want that to be in action and you just say you can put save and do not send i'm not going to send anything to joe okay and so these are all the houses i can see him immediately before i can send it to him okay and what happens is joe will get an email with these houses and i think that's a real email so uh that guy is going to get it. But so here it is. Um, you can look at some of the stuff. 
and you can kind of like do some research on yourself over here you can kind of look at the gallery and look at look at the map you can see where this is at and you can see what joe is seeing by the way you can see similar properties nearby listings so i think you guys kind of get the idea uh, now uh, what kv core also has is you have marketing on autopilot here so you can actually do smart campaigns where you're actually hitting people at different times um, so you can do that uh, you can do behavior automation what that is that uh, depending on for the most part uh, uh, the kv core handles everything himself itself like for example if you have returning clients let's say they haven't visited your site in let's say a month and they come back it will automatically prompt a particular behavior and it will prompt a um, a text to go out or an email that says hey welcome back let me know how i can help you you can also schedule mass emails which are really good if you're doing uh, email marketing uh, for the people that you're um, targeting um, this is the landing pages that we can do you can do we also have a, an open house app that you can download to when you're sitting at an open house you can actually get all your leads to sign up and it will come to over here it's going to be right over here on your uh, on your contacts so um i actually have saved myself so you guys can take a look I've seen myself as a contact as I was uh, using KV Core, and this this is what it shows when the system sends me things. This is what it shows. Uh, so I requested a home evaluation for this particular property. You already sent it to me, uh, and over here, over here, uh, it tells you about the leads that were called and you know things like that. You can actually send. You can call them, text them. You can add a note. You can send an email directly from this particular page. But what I wanted you to see is, like you can see what emails they're getting from you. Um, so this is the type of email that they get. So this is the email that he sent me. And of course, it's gonna show my latest blogs. Here you can have your social media and your branding. For all you people that don't wanna lose branding, here's mine right here. And uh, of course, I got my links here and all that stuff. So what you get with KV Core is you get the end user website. So you get that, which is this thing right over here. Okay, you get the end user website, which automatically comes with your IDX. Okay, so you get you get your your IDX, your uh, your your end user website, uh, which is integrated with KV Core, which is your CRM. So you get that, and you get all the marketing leads, you get um, and of course, if you have any questions, you know, these guys are really, really good. KV Core uh, is really good. If you have any questions, uh, I've, I've contacted them several times. I start my day with this particular page and I get to see when my clients have become active and what they're doing. So this person has been active two, uh, two hours ago. Um, and uh, I can see like, let's say this guy, for example, Raymond. Uh, I can see what I've been sending to him. I can look up the notes. I can look at the tasks. And, uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, um, if you guys have any questions, you can certainly reach out to me. Um, I'm really, really happy with KV Core so far. It is a basic website. Like I said, mine was a whole lot robust. But, honestly, it's so long as it does a job, I really don't care. And it doesn't really require any maintenance on my part. Everything will update automatically. And I don't need to do anything. So, all right, uh, guys, thank you so much um, for, uh, what am I doing? Thank you so much for uh, logging in to get another one of my videos. Uh, that's it for me, and I'll see you next time.